on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. All season was leading up to this. After a disappointing early exit in the 2021 NCAA tournament, Illinois has only wanted to get back and avenge that loss. The Illini arrived at PPG Paints Arena earlier this afternoon looking like they're ready for a business trip. They already have been on this stage before in the NCAA tournament. Last year, they grabbed a win in the first round against Drexel. Now, we can't show you highlights from the game until all games in the second window finish. There's still one going on. It's not our fault. Air all your grievances with the NCAA. But it was a slow start for Illinois as the mocks jumped out to a 12-3 lead in the first few minutes over Illinois. Kofi Coburn was able to draw eight fouls in the first half, but struggled to begin uh, the first from the line, making just three of eight free throws. Illinois went on a 19-6 run to cut the Chattanooga lead to four at the break. Quickly, the mocks extended that lead on a 7-0 run to start the second. After starting the game, zero for eight from three. Alfonso Plummer finally stepped up and got one to fall, then hit another on the next possession. And Illinois was again within one. Late in the second, Illinois hadn't led all game in a Coburn putback and a Coleman Hawkins missed free throw. Put the Illini in front for the first time after two free throws for each side. The Mox had the ball down one in that block you see on your screen by Coleman Hawkins to Malachi Smith was the one that won the game with just a few seconds left for the Alane. They go on and win the opener in the NCAA tournament 54-53 the final. They move on to the second round for the second year in a row. Coburn, Coburn led the way with 17 points and 13 rebounds. Hawkins the sophomore with a great game as you see here 10 points, 8 rebounds and of course the one all important block. The Illini will play Sunday against Houston. Time still to be announced. Illinois only led for a total of 25 seconds, but they led the most important second, the last one. WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Behrens has more from Pittsburgh. A sigh of relief for the Illini as they walk off the court with a win and avoid the upset with Illinois head coach Brad Underwood describing it best, survive and advance. And this time of year, it really is that simple. Just find a way to win. It wasn't pretty against Chattanooga. Illinois led for all of 25 seconds. The Illini didn't take their first lead until there was less than a minute to play. It's relief. Um, you know, I told Lamont they, they played better than us. Um, and we just happened to have more points than them at the end, and we led at the right time. The Mox had the Illini on upset alert all night, and they had two great looks to win it late, but the defense held with Coleman Hawkins coming up with a big block. Kofi Coburn said he was thinking about last year's Loyola game in the final moments. I just remember how that felt. I mean, you know, it's like the same to myself. We can't let that happen again. Can't let that happen again. You know, I'm just... A, like I said, it's a lot of fire, a lot of emotions. The slow start nearly dug Illinois a hole it couldn't climb out of, with little answers after for what caused it. Without clutch shots late from Alfonso Plummer, the Illini would likely be heading home. So I feel like I was ready for the moment, but I feel like the energy was kind of bad in the beginning. That's like you can see. But, uh, you know, in the next game, he's got to pick it up. No doubt who threw the first punch uh, or the first three punches uh, was them. They just knocked us right in the mouth uh, the first six minutes of the game. And... Uh, you know, took it to us, kicked our butt. They are much more ready to play than we were. And this isn't the first time we have seen that from Illinois this season. We'll see if they can get it all together Sunday with a trip to the Sweet 16 for the first time in 17 years on the line. Reporting in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks, Brett. We've got even more coverage on the WCIA 3-in-1 pod. Brett and I will break down our thoughts from our different viewpoints of the game and talk where the Illini stand 